Are we ready to get scared, Mafia? Yeah. <laughs> it deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. The park is a narrative experience best played in a dark room. Well, I've got the last off, but join the course. No, I didn't read the rest of it. Oh well. Come on. I'll just set my stream up. I'm going to do it. Here we are. Again. Okay. <laughs> 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 Tons of shots. <laughs> Laugh, mate, recording. Wait, drive on YouTube? Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. <laughs> In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Here we go, boys. Let's do this. Mr. Bear. I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Straight into it. Where's Callum? Oh, it's Ginger. Yes, Callum. How are you doing, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Can we sprint or what? Attention patrons, the park is now closed. Please make your way to the car park at your earliest convenience. Employees prepare the park for shutdown. Boom. Press X, oh I won't look here. Shit. The little minute I looked away, just to load my stream. Yeah. Can't even get through it, probably not. Oh. It said something, it said press X to do something, but I won't even look in. So I wonder if it was press X to sprint, you know? Go to the ticket office, speak to the oh, oh, plan. Sounds like a plan mafia. all the time. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Sweet. Cheers, bro. There you go, we got in. <laughs> Press circle to shout to Callum. Shout to provide audible and visual clues to guide you. Wait for mommy, Callum! Oh yeah, it does. Anyway, it's coming from the corner. Trophy hand, welcome to the park. Let's make that to move out of the way. Atlantic Island Park. Welcome to Atlantic Island Park. When I first came to visit them in there. Oh, I fell deeply in love. I'm not reading all this. The teens, but yeah, okay. You get the point. For the little ones. For the little ones. Oh fuck shit, there he is. Callum. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. Catch There's something me, special about the entrance to an amusement park. I'll see you within. Can't move. <laughs> on this side, the apathy of our everyday lives. She's laser. And on the other, anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. Attention employees, the park is now closed. Have a safe journey home. Sweet. The park's closed the way there. Why is everything going to go? Oh, it's all going to work, eh? That's just how it gets dark around here. Wait up there for mommy, Callum! Where is it? Oh, God. The park. Hey. What happened here? Tell him! Tell him, you little... Stop you sprinting. You can't even sprint to catch up with him. Oh, 
I feel like I want to look around, but I'm supposed to be catching this little um. div. Oh my god, let me run. Carrie Killian is Satan's whore. Is that me? Am I Carrie Killian? Wow, this place is massive. Examine shoe. Callum, you've dropped your shoe, bro. I think this belongs to Callum. Callum? Where'd you go? Chad the chipmunk, huh? Chad the chipmunk, worst in class. In Chad suit. can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. A bit harsh. What is this about? Purchase the land on Solomon Island for a pittance. I might add whatever old Archie Henderson did to the locals, did to the locals, just the, the mention of his name had people slamming doors and locking shutters from the moment I arrived on the island. My lawyers had arranged everything in advance, but the... What? But the real... real I don't even know what that says. Still had to come and deliver the keys to me personally. He took it upon himself to offer me another warning. I don't know what you're planning to do with this land, Mr. Winter, but the soil here is bitter with a curse carried from the old country. Old man Henderson, he did terrible, dark things. The land remembers, sir. I dismissed him shortly afterwards, mostly amused by his pathetic attempts at warning me off. What's that voice? That man's gone apart, the name is perfect. Sorry, I just stopped reading because I just heard that voice in the background. I cannot imagine it being anything else. Yeah, blah, blah. Okay. Dark curse, there's a dark curse on the ground. Mr. Winters. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Over here. Where? I thought I'd just seen him, but I'm tripping. Callum, stay where you are. Where is he? Is he on the boat? Oh, you little shit. <laughs> Trying. Let me on. Let me on this shiz, man. Wait, Callum. Ah! <laughs> it's what? <laughs> I'm not scared yet, bro. What's to be scared of? I'm riding the swans. Every daughter, isn't it? Yeah. At least put us on a ghost train. Zombie fish. Zombie fish. Wow, this is slow. Paddle. Callum, where did you go? Yeah, echo, you sick. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife, and his two children. A boy named Hansel and a girl named Gretel. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Have we really got to go through the whole story of Hansel and Gretel? What will become of us? <laughs> the woodcutter asked his wife one night. I tell you what, husband. We will take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife. I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Hansel and Gretel overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut and gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Come on. The next morning, the woodcutter leads the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a slice of bread and warns them that they will get no more food that day. Oh, yeah. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones yeah. behind them as they pass into the woods. When their father and Chad. 
the children sad. wait a while, That's the then follow there. the trail back to their parents' house. Before. After receiving a thorough scolding from their parents for getting lost in the woods, the children are sent to bed without any supper. Hansel tried to sneak out and collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Tomorrow I will take them into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread really? and led them deep into the forest once again. Hansel broke his bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. But hungry-eyed birds snatched up the breadcrumbs and his trail was destroyed. Abandoned by their parents, and unable to find the trail home, the children wandered in the forest for three days. I want some mixed weapon. <laughs> the children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Its walls were made of gingerbread, and its windows were panes of clear sugar. Hansel desperately hungry, ran forward and began to nibble on the walls. Have we really got to go through the whole story of Hansel and Gretel, man? This is just... Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who's nibbling at my house? An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air and peering around with cloudy eyes. Oh, you dear children, who brought you here? Just come in and stay with me. No harm will come to you. But Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them of their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. I have something for you. The old woman offered them Don't go, two she's gonna eat you. lollipops. The children took them and began to eat. You see, nothing to Sister. fear here. Come inside, the old woman urged, and the children, still licking their sweets, I've no idea what's gonna happen followed. in this game or what it's actually about. I've literally just started playing it without a clue of what's going on. Once inside the house, the old woman changed. She stuffed Hansel into um, a cage. I didn't expect this. <laughs> put Gretel to work, sweeping and cleaning her hut. But whatever. Your brother will make a good mouthful, the old witch told Gretel. Once he is fattened up, I shall feast upon him. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat. Fearing the day that the witch would eat him, the witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. <laughs> yeah, well, scare her. Side and light the oven. But Gretel pretended not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said, "The opening is here." and she moved to show Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove, and the old crone tumbled forward into the oven. Gretel slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged... Seriously, we've just been through this whole thing just to have a couple of bangs. Which is cooked. <laughs> Game and then, because even children what? can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch what? and ate her. What? That didn't happen in Hansel and Gretel, did it? The kids didn't eat the witch, did they? What? Just put the poor twist on it. What? Yo. Looking up, bro.
Well, it wasn't that fun. Swans, gingerbread, and... Oh. Callum! Where is this little shit bag? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own parents. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. We were always hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. What? You can't sprint when she's talking. Another accident. This place. Stabbed up the bear. What's the bear done? Leave the bear alone. Despite the constant interruptions to work, Atlantic Island Park will be opening on time. The governor is booked to cut the ribbon, so the only reason, so the only real question is whether we will have any customers. I'm not truly worried. The customers will come out of simple curiosity. I deduced what was needed from the band writings of Archie Henderson. It's astonishing to think that a re resonance of positive emotions can be used to fuel such a process. Henderson himself chose to use negative and that caused some of the taints that still lingers in this place. I will not make his mistakes. Very soon I will know if this has all been for nothing. I wish I knew what you're talking about. Please just let me sprint. Chucking rocks at me, bro. This place is massive. Look, look how far... Yo. Now we're talking. Fuck Hansel and Gretel rides. I thought the park was closed. I forgot my face kicking up. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. Is he on it? Where is that? Stop! Tell him! Can't see him. Yeah, man. Get... can't get on while it's moving. Stop it then, love. Increase speed. Should we speed? Get me on this thing. What's the point in riding the rides? I don't get this game. <laughs> wow, this is so fun. Yay. Yay. Wow, 
wow that was really scary <laughs> to see you Callum where is the little shithead sick of him running off come back he's on a pearl rod oh I remember this trophy and family ties me and Callum you don't look ginger there mommy needs to see you Callum stay where you are where is it how can he is that him over there No. Callum, tell mommy where you are. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> Got no matter much money to live on. I've tried contacting organizations there, but I'm thinking of dealing with one. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye then. Where are you? It's not funny, mate. Wait for mommy! Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. What? I don't get it. Where is there? Jump. Don't hide from me, Callum. This way, mommy. Which way, Callum? Which way, Callum? <laughs> is it this way? It's got to be this way. I can't remember which way I came in, I don't fucking Did I already look? Yeah, that's the way I came in then, isn't it? What? Mommy needs to see you, Callum! Catch me, Mommy. Oh my god, where is it? Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And he shattered. And as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. What's she even talking about? I, I can't read all this. But then I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, bye then. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Sweetie, he all Constant crashes in 80s music. I guess it floats someone's boat. Yeah, we want to get in. Let's ride the bumper cars. How do we get in? One's on. Oh, it's just an accident. Do you want to transport the bumper cars into the air in arena? One of the straps attached to the load of the truck came untied, causing a cascade of bumper cars onto Francis, who was standing 
directing the driver. Francis was crushed by the weight of the cars. Described any injuries caused. Francis was killed. <laughs> Describe any injuries caused. Francis was killed. The danger. I guess he wants me to go this way. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, yes, Sheriff. <laughs> Mommy is coming, Kelm. No, you've got, I've got to ride this big ass wheel. Fuck that. I remember going on the Grand Theft Auto. Big wheel. Fucking boring. Stay where you are. Stay where you are, you little shit. He's still, he must be still alive somewhere. Wow, this is going to be so much fun. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Looks like Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but <laughs> he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh, you know. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. I think she needs to start thinking happy thoughts. More happy thoughts. Oh, what's with this witch?
<laughs> dinosaurs. I don't know, mate. Callum! Callum, where did you go? I'm not riding this thing. Oh. So they are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Callum! Why is there a baby Callum! crying? Serious though. Can't remember which way I came in this fucking thing either. Where are you, Callum? We got circle things. So I don't know which way to. This is where I came in, ain't it? I remember now. I think. I don't fucking know. Callum, where did you go? No, I'm all confused. Been there, I've been there. Yeah, fuck it. I don't know where I've been. <laughs> Little shit. Oh my god, this game. Don't be afraid. I've not got a map. Where are you, Callum? Any ideas, cast mate, if you're still watching, what the fuck I'm supposed to do? the way. We might be on the summit bars. Yeah, it's all good. Back to the... Oh, this is the fucking bumper cars where I came up. I didn't think I... Oh my, no, I thought I came from them red things. I'm well confused. Went from them red things to the bump cars to the big wheel. Okay, I'm not going back there. I know, I know which way to go. I came into the bump cars from over there, so I'm just going to go this way. Yeah, man, towards the roller coaster. Thank <laughs> you. 
was not about an inspector coming to see the park. Yeah, okay, brilliant. Cheers for that. What's with this baby, man? I don't get it. What's the reference to... I can't even get down there, really. Game, stop trolling, man. about Nathaniel Winter, financial genius or eccentric geriatric blah de blah and a billionaire mogul yeah brilliant Alan where did you go stay where you are Alan where did you go why are you highlighting that again? I don't get it. What's the... I've just got to put my head sound back onto my headphones because it was coming out of my tether. I might be able to hear whether that baby's crying properly then. Is there? I'm so confused. That baby sounds like it's right on top of her, like, I don't... Mommy is coming, Callum! This is the other side of the bridge, isn't it? Where we couldn't get across, I remember now. Not that that's probably the same Callum? as in the way, but... Callum! This game, man. <laughs> Don't be afraid. They can even hear you. Where the fuck is it? This is massive. Why are all the rods so far apart from each other? There's got to be something to do with that baby, I swear. It's 
one of the tails, yeah, the swan thing, that's where I started. And I went to the Octotron, and now I'm at the Ferris wheel. I've been to the bumper cars. Couldn't get to the roller coaster. So have I got to go all the way back to the Tunnel of Tales just to go to the House of Horrors? I think that's what I've got to do. Jesus Christ, this game. I'll have a quick... Quick look round here first. This is that log in it, yeah, back to the log. What you was on about? Oh, no way. I don't know why I didn't see that last time. Mars cast. <laughs> but it's told me to do that ages ago as well. <laughs> I you ain't played this before. Come on, love, walk. A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of yeah, your man. life caring it was, them. Yeah, you're right. You traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything! It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Wow. Bit harsh, love. Starting to dislike, to be honest. <laughs> <coughs> Callum might be ginger, but it's no need to be like that. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. Let's fucking do it then. Let's do this. The roller coaster. Yay. What? Oh, I thought stopping me getting up there. Not a lot, I <laughs> Can you relate, Cash? Yeah, Parenting. She, she speaks truth. <laughs> what do you want? We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I. You and your boy are That's everything the armor. this place to my doesn't left. want. The antithesis of what we stand for. I we'll see him, but I can't. Where is Callum? Fuck it, I just enjoy the roller coaster. Child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. That's sick. Which has it now? Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Let's do this. Ah. What? Spoiling it, man. Spoiling the rush. We must be two shots.
Can you read? I can't read that. Can say Callum. Just hit Callum, bro. We just killed him. Calculations adjustments work, the transport and storage mechanisms seem to be flawless. What a wonderful day. If only these people knew what they were fueling and so what if a few people leave the park at the end of the day feeding Dawa. So what if the children are more scared and excited on the roller coaster? This could be the doorway to Immortana. What? This could be the doorway to Immort and such doorways open only to those who have the will to find the key. What? You're talking about a roller coaster, bro. I want the axe, man. We've got to go and take on a witch. Callum has bruises on his arms. Finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him. Demanded, really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot hmm. understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. There will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. Okay. She kills the fuck knows, mate. Callum's possessed. It's all in her head. Motherfuckers closed the gates on me, yo. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. This in board caught corpse. Yeah, but some fucked up shit's been going on, bro. Everyone's dying. And I ain't been reading all this shit. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island, has been released to follow up that, that Winter bloke. He's a dodgy geezer. What? I can hear someone walking in, but I can't see it. I hate when games do that. When I've got headphones on. Interesting. I don't know if you're joking or what. It's alright though, isn't it? It's quite good so far. I'm getting into it. I was a bit uh, at first, but I'm liking it now. Definitely grew into it. I don't like that though, it's rank. Don't do that to me. Ooh. Honestly, I hate that shit. <laughs> That's the first thing to freak me out as well, since I've started playing. I can feel, you can hear someone coming at you, the right in front of you. Like, you can know, what? It's like, cut on. No, it's a dead body. I did this to him. Bear me one minute. Needs must. I'll let you just stare at this corpse for a sec. Being serious, I came up with ending already. Go on then, what's your ending? In Latimer.
I actually can't move. Oh, I had to press X. Wow. I was not there for about two minutes thinking what's going on. Can I not walk that? I wanted to see the clown close up. Gee, Jesus! Ah! That was rank. <laughs> Stop, man. This game starts to do me now. I can't, oh, can I move now? I I was rank. Stop walking towards me, bro. I know you're there, Mr. Invisible. The witch is a mom. <laughs> okay. Take pills. Uh, Fuck it, why not? She is fucked in the head, look, bro. What does it say? I don't know. It is all in her head. Wow, look, your mother. It's Cass, you've been Googling this shit, ain't you? <laughs> Fuck gravity, ain't it? Fuck gravity. Destroy the other hair. What? It's a fat. Pig, but his dota is hot. <laughs> dota, donut, not do, do, small cards, well. Not safe. The league. Your mother. Say no to graffiti. Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. Jesus. All that your love will be carried away. 1980s. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Regan, 1980. I guess eight, not in here. Regan, oh, fucking no, but actually, fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. <laughs> don't believe anything they tell you. I don't know what's going on now, by the way. Some trippy shit. I don't think she should have took the damn tablets, bro. I'm thinking I should have left them well alone. Look, look. Is that the witch? Ah! Come, what? Time around and talk to me. Shall I go? I'm going out. Right. She's depressed, mate, the way she talks. Fuck you, mate. I ain't even scared. Best buzz, bad time around. I sure have been listening to the story better than me, if I'm honest. But I'm glad you're telling me. Don't touch me. She thinks she's a bad mum. Because her mum was a bad mum. <laughs> I would have read that newspaper because then I'll be just in trippy world now. Will be carried away. Uh, brightness, brightness, brightness. Volume, visuals, little of guidance, focus, sensitivity. Gamma. Some all. Something you will be carried. I still can't read it. Fuck it. Should I be...
I see your arms, man. What was that? Just put it up around here, normal. The management is not responsible for diseases. So now where do I go? Hmm. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Mommy, I'm scared. Come back. Keep them away from me. Where are ya? I can help you, Callum. All the breadcrumbs. What? Mate. Supposed to be good. Where was that? Where I've just been? Saw so Chavali, weren't it? Must have been. So the only other place is House of Horrors. I need to get through that bit. is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. What secrets <laughs> lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide. And the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me inside. Oh yeah, the park. Yeah, so the witch is like a mum, not a metaphor for a mum sort of thing. Crazy shit like that.
Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A jeering throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Small minded fools scared of what they don't understand. My machines lie silent and dejected. But I am not beaten. I have sent my wife and son back to Boston and I have retreated here to the House of Horrors, I must think. It's more like this is the feel I want from a horror game. But I suppose it's cool though getting to ride the rides and shit. Footsteps again. <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. Big bear all about then. Yo, I'm <laughs> paranoid as fuck. That uh, it would be around or something. Saw that one coming.
Guess we're going in there then. Well, it'll be on there quicker. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. <coughs> Jesus. Blah, blah, blah. I was just becoming one of the greatest tragedies. Yeah, okay. Oh, tragedy box. Uh -oh. Oh, I want to spell to try and do it. Oh. Back up, man. I want the meat to go off the way. <laughs> As we agreed in the meat today, we can see you fully recovered from your illness, Miss Maynard. This there is official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Find it hard to believe. Lorraine seems to be suffering from depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, including electrotherapy, the patient responded and made a rapid recovery. Uh, according to this state of Mr. Don Williams being completely in regret to inform me that the primary beneficials of his state, including the law of insurance, his parents, our agenda made for blah blah. She didn't get no money. Walk around in the circle. Did I miss out on something? More pills. Right. 
Take the pills, follow up with Pink Dot Spencer on my babies. Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. More pills. <laughs> That's different this time again. The fuck? Yeah, wrench is gone. Food's gone. Um, not really sure what's going on with that picture, y'all. That's free, okay. Dolls, man, dolls are free, okay. Don't like dolls. <laughs> Nobody loves you, Callum is no longer mine, he wants, or who he once was. Jesus.
I want to go this way. <laughs> Watch the art music. Calls my nerves. <laughs> Jesus. This shit's freaky as fuck, I don't care what you say, I'm fully freaked. <laughs> What's with the bad dramatic music? I don't even move, I don't even want to move. Stop. Stop with the music. Now something's about to pounce on me any second, I can't deal with it, honestly to god I can't deal with it. Just get me if you're gonna get there. Fucking look, there's blood pouring out of the walls. I don't want to move. Can't take it. I need to turn this shit down. <laughs> that music. Turn my headset right down. <laughs> Oh no. Come on then, let's go in. Mate. Fuck this shit. Let's get me round through this fucking house, man. Get me fucking through it, though. Nothing happened, it just freaked out, I swear to God. That music was too much. I don't know what's with the fucking hanging bodies. are told again and again and from their shape we build our understanding of the world two children are led into the woods they are lost for a time but then are captured by an old witch a child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park he wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch in the oldest version of this story the mother and the witch were the same person I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Jesus. I didn't listen properly because I started reading, but what did she just say? She's not the, anyway. Kids broke in today. It's been so long since I had left her, so very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life. 
whirring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is delightful. The change wrought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. Anson and Gretel's story. Well, she's the witch from Anson. Yeah, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm, well, I'm a bit well confused, to be honest, as far as the storyline's concerned. Hansel and Grail. It's obviously got a lot to do with it, but I'm just... So they've got Callum on a slab. Bitch, you are the witch. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but yeah. Is that it? Are we done? I want more. Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. <laughs> Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. Cause she just stuck a fucking meat thing thing in his head. What? It's controlled by a witch. Thing from Ansel and Gretel. Oh God, I'm confused. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. I mean, I get it. She's been through some, some fucked up shit. I mean, she's obviously depressed and she's on pills. She's lost the plot. But it's just weird, man. But yeah, good game. Wow, smashed it. Clocked it. I wanted more, to be honest. I wanted more, but it was good. <laughs> I know that's why obviously it's works, it's all in the red obviously there, but yeah. Just some crazy shit. It did get scary as well, I like it, it was good, it was scary, I had it had the like the fairground bits at the beginning and stuff which made it, yeah. A bit different. I'm done. Sound boys, peace.
I should make a game for figuring that out. Sound boys, yeah, you should, mate. You should. You should. Sound boys. Check you later.